Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our live. We come to you live each and every day, 9.30 a.m. Central Time. And we're here to talk Luminous. We're here to talk anything and everything Luminous just for you. So we know that there's people at different levels, uh, people that have been airbrushing a while, people that are just starting, people that are interested in it. And so we, um, we do these so you can ask questions. You can see it being done. Um, I mean, there's no rules, basically, is what I'm telling you. Let me move all this stuff up so I can get to it. Uh, today, we're going to have some fun. And I'm Heather, by the way. Uh, we're going to have some fun because we are going to go over brows. Somebody reached out to me. It was like, hey, can you go over airbrush brows? Um, I think we did it two weeks ago. So we'll cover it again. Um, but one thing that we always like to cover is the beginning, is the the start of airbrushing, the um, what you get in your kit, what you do, what you uh, how you use it, all of that is part of it. So let's go over one of our starter kits, and this is our Icon. We also have um, the Icon Pro and the Legend, um, and of course we have the Breeze. And um, it all comes with makeup. So it comes with everything you need to get started. And so we don't leave anything out. So you have two bottles of foundation. You also have um, the love and the blush, of course. And the blush is super high pigmented. So a little bit does go a long way. So you want to make sure um, you maybe only use two drops, maybe one drop, very, very little. Um, then you also, with the love, the love might not be something you use every single day, but it's beautiful mixed in with your blush, mixed in with your um, foundation even. A lot of times I like to mix it in with my foundation just to kind of change it up a bit as well. And so when you get your system, we want you to do the following things. So get it out. Boop, boop, boop and plug it in and then just practice with the air. You wanna keep it four finger widths away from your face. And that might sound easy and simple, but what happens with the airbrush, you either do this or you do this because we're used to touching our face. Hey, Stephanie, good to see you, hola. Hey, Jeannie, good to see you. All right, I'm looking and seeing everything. Let's see. Can I purchase the sprain part? My I already have it. So P M Garcia, I don't know. Pooks. I like that. Um, if you're having issues and this brings up a good point. If you're having issues with your system, with the airbrush one, you need to make sure that you are cleaning your airbrush every single time you use it, not after every product, but every single time you use it. But guys, we stand behind our makeup, I mean, and our products. That includes our products So, or the system itself. There's a one-year warranty on it. So if you're having problems, call customer service. Um, they can walk you through how to fix it. And if it's something that needs to be replaced, we'll replace it. So, um, But of course, you can buy parts of it. So like you can buy an extra stylus, which I always recommend buying an extra stylus. Um, you can buy a needle, you can buy a hose, so all of that, because the hose, I've heard, if it gets too close to a curling iron, it might poke a hole in it. So uh, you might need to buy a new hose. So check out, that's all on our Luminous Cosmetics page. So again, when you're practicing, keep it that four finger widths away, practice in the mirror and move that stylus. You're going to continually move that stylus, not fast. You don't have to do a free for all and you're not painting a fence but move that stylus and then pull back slightly on that trigger. You, you know, I, you hear me say this all the time, but this is different than traditional makeup. So it does take a little bit of getting used to. I'm not saying practice for six months and you'll have it down. No, if you'll practice that way a couple of times, you'll have it down. Plus the fact we give you enough makeup so you can practice, you can try it. Hi, Sarah. I don't care remember if I said hi to you. Hey, Muzette, good to see you. Hello, Patty. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so let's go ahead and get started because I need some eyebrows on. So I'm using, I'm shaking this up. 
because I haven't used the one here in a while. Hey, Judy, good morning. So all of our products, you need to make sure you shake up. It has a little BB in there, so shake it, shake it, shake it, especially if it's something you haven't used in a while, or maybe it's something that has some shimmer to it, like our luminizers. That pigment is heavier, and so you do want to make sure that you shake it up. Shake it like a Polaroid. You know what? I might do this backwards because I'm not going to, I'm going to obviously, so if I do, normally I do my brows first and um, cause I think I feel it frames the face to make it easier to put on makeup. Um, but because I'm only, I'm going to use my breeze um, and obviously you'll want to clean it between the breeze or uh, between the, the eyebrows and the foundation. So to save us time, I'm going straight to um, putting on the foundation. All right, I am gonna use the CC Concealer. Good morning, Cindy. Oh, or Pound Shih Tzu. Oh, I have a Shih Tzu. His name is Louis, Christian Louis Baton. All right, so I did about four drops of my CC Concealer, and this is what I like to call pre-coverage. So I'll go in. And just start my coverage there. Get all those spots that I need to cover. Under my eyes, on my lids. My lids are darker. All right. So I did some pre-coverage. Now I'll go straight to the foundation. And mix a couple of drops of foundation. Ah, oh. your niece helped you with your brows. I love it. You know, and that's the one we're going to talk about all the benefits to our root and brow because I really love it. Um, Marilyn asked, why don't you include moisturizer in the kit since you have to moisturize first? And you can have Noxzema as face cleanser with Luminous. And can you have, yeah, you can use any, Marilyn, with your um, with your cleaning regimen, you can use anything to clean it. Uh, what you'll notice is that you do have, um, you do need to um, probably wash it a couple of times because we know that, you know, the makeup does stay on long. So a lot of people like our moisturizer, our M1 primer, because we do have different options. Um, but we also like, I like a heavier moisturizer. And so I use our contour moisturizer. And then we uh, have the, the M1 primer, we have porcelain, we have velvet veil. So there's a lot of different options for moisturizer, for primer, all of that fun stuff. All right, so now foundation is done. Okay, so now we're going to start adding some color. We're going to do my brows real fast uh, because I think everything else is going to be regular. Yeah. All right. So when you receive the brows, um, you get about nine stencils. And so I think I have two packs here. So that's why I didn't hold them all, all of them. What you want to do is hold up, you know, hold them up to your brow look at them, see what shape you like the best. I tend to go for the, I think it's the three or the four. And so you can go, oh, here's the four. Is it that one? I know it's the three. And they're all numbered, so you'll be able to see that, see which ones they are. If you have glasses on. <laughs> So I'm just, yeah, I have two sets here right now. So, okay, here's my three. Yep. So now is this the perfect shape for what I do? Or is this the perfect shape for my brow? No. I know that just shocked everybody, but get the, get the shape that you like or the one that's closest to you, especially if you want to make some changes to your brows, get the one that you like. Because what happens is when you put them on, you can pluck, and I think um, 
I'm guessing this is maybe is what Jeannie's uh, niece did. You, once you have the brow on, you can pluck or wax or do whatever around that brow to shape it to the shape that you want. Okay. So if you need to do some touch-ups, maybe you go get your brows done every six weeks or whatever. If you need to do touch-ups in between, this is perfect because if it's not in the shape on the the shape that you're doing, just pluck around it. Pluck, if you need to pluck here, pluck underneath here, you can do that. So I'm taking my brown and we also break up the, the application. So I work from the, in, the inside to the arch and then the arch to the tail. I also like my brows a little thicker. We know that the shape and all that stuff changes all the time with the style, but I do like them a little bit thicker. And so I'm able to do that, even though these aren't the thickness that I want, all I have to do is move it up a little bit. Okay. Now I did put the link in the root and brow. It's the root or it's the brow essentials. And so with the brow essentials, you also get the duo, duo brow pencil. And I'm going to show you how you can tweak it with that. And then let's say you're like, I don't know if I can do this airbrush, but you got the brow essential. Guess what? You can take this, do this and go, boop, boop. well, not that way, but you can fill it in this way too. Does that make sense? So you got to do you, boo. All right. So I put my drops of my brown into my breeze. And then... I'm going to go in, hold my stencil and notice when I'm doing this, guys, I'm not doing this. I'm not holding it flat to my head. All right. Um, you don't have to do that. I'm bare. I'm just holding it at a corner, lining it up, airbrushing, and then I can adjust it here. So it doesn't have to be like, oh, I have to make it straight and, and stick. No. You have room, you can move it. You can, I move it up a little bit to make them a little bit thicker, okay? So now I'm gonna take this, holding it, lining it up. I think I'm gonna need my mirror. Let me move it, move it, move it. So I'm lining them up, taking my breeze, and you can, you can tell like there's space right here, okay? So I don't have to hold it right there. Back and forth, back and forth. I feel the coolness of the makeup. I'm gonna come up a little bit more. Okay, ready for this? <gasps> what? Look at that. I only did the tip to the arch. Now, I pulled it away from my head. Coming back here, lining this up. Bam. Bam. Mic drop. Okay, everybody go home. It is amazing. Now, do I want them a little thicker? Sure. Do I need to tweak it? Probably. Some of you might be going, why? You can go with that. If you get it a little, if a little bit come, comes out of the line, you can fix it real quick. I'll come up a little bit more. Bam. Okay. I don't want to turn that. I can come back with my brow pencil, my duo brow pencil. and tweak it if I need it. Ooh. Look at that guys, how easy. If I wasn't talking, I could do it in seconds. Bam, done. Ba -ba! You're done. <laughs> Jeannie's like, uh, she, I held the stencil while she's, that's what I'm telling you guys. It does not have to be flat to your head. You can, you saw me. I just held it at the corner. I'm just holding it at the corner. You don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. And don't think of it as the whole brow. You're just doing the, this side to that, that to that. That's it. Now I have my stencil, taking my wipe and wiping it off. Why am I doing this? Because if I flip it, I'm going to have that color all over my eyebrow. 
So I flip it. I'm drying it off a bit. I I think I I feel like people would get not freaked out, but like think, oh, I have to. Okay, it's lining up. Okay, got it. I'm gonna line it here and here, and now I'm gonna do that. And nope, you don't have to do that, guys. No, no, no. You saw me. I barely. I mean, I'm just like, look, two fingers. Do 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 do. Done. Done. Work with the stencil. The product's gonna go through the stencil. It'll stop where this is. So just work with it. And this one I'll mess up um, because I want to show you how to fix. And guess what? It doesn't include tapping it out. This is the one time you're not gonna tap it out, right? Okay, so now I have my I'm doing my other side going in, lining up that first. See, look, I'm just look. Okay, I messed up on purpose. Oh no, I have to wash it off. Q tip. Roop. Roop. Done. Done. Guys, come on. This, you, this is the easiest thing, easiest thing. Muzat, you're so awesome. Yes, do a class with me. Now I'm doing the arch to the tail. Side note, because we always get this question. If you have hooded eyes, make sure, hey, Martin, make sure your tail doesn't go down as much. But if you have that arch, like mine are getting hooded. And so I go here to out a little bit. I don't want to go down because anything you put that if I do this tail down, it'll bring down the eye and we don't want that with hooded eye. So bring it out a little bit more. All right. So now I'm going here. I'm working on the arch to the tail. Guys, I can't make <laughs> like that was seconds and I even messed up. If you, even if I needed to go back, and fix something here if I wanted to make that a little bit bigger. I can do that. Guys, airbrushing is easy. So now I'll go in and tweak with my brow pencil. All right. Now, I do like to go through. I usually use like a little spoolie, um, you know, clean mascara wand but I'm now looking for my, um, where is it? I'll just lie all these. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. So I'm just using like a brow brush and I I'll brush up or that's what I kind of like the mascara spoolie and then I'll brush up and kind of soften this here so it doesn't look so harsh um and i'm gonna show you another way to fix it so if it still looks too harsh take a q-tip and soften that up i'm rubbing right where i did the root and brow but i'm just softening up the front Okay. See how easy that is, guys. Does everybody see how easy that is? Hey, Veronica. So once you get it down, you can do this in seconds. It does not take long at all. And you're done. Done. Done, hun. All right, so I am going to take our root and brow. <laughs> oh, let's talk about that, though. Um, so I have a, I think I have a little bit left in here. I parted my hair on the other side. So see how, like, you can see my scalp? I'm obsessed with this now because I feel like 
anytime you can see my scalp, I kind of freak. I'm like, oh, my hair looks them. So root and brow is great for covering your roots. Nobody likes to see roots. If you can't make it to your hairdresser, use the root and brow. If you want your hair to look thicker, use root and brow. I use this all the time at weddings for moms, mother of the brides, brides, because when you pull your hair back, hair back, if your hair is not like crazy thick, you're going to see some of your scalp. And I hate to bust anybody, anybody's bubble, but that's what they do in Hollywood. Half that hair, 75, 80% of that hair is fake. Okay. So nobody has that good of hair all the time. So I can go in. See that? And look, see how it looks? It's starting to look thicker. I can cover my grays. And it's giving the illusion ooh, of thicker hair. This is the miracle of miracles, okay? Miracles. Now, I am going to put, I'm going to clean this real quick. Um because I don't want that to stick in there. So I'm I'm doing a little bit of tip top cleaner through here. Do a little bit more. You can back bubble when you're cleaning. And then I'll finish that up later. All right. So let's move on. Now taking my nude and naughty. And, you know, every, I tell you guys this all the time, but everyone should have like a staple look, like a go-to look that you can do half asleep. Um, and usually I do like to keep that with um, like neutral colors because, uh, you know, like browns and taupes because that goes with anything. And so you don't have to worry about, oh, does it match? It doesn't matter what you're wearing it'll go. So I'm going to go in with a medium brown and I'm making a V in the outside corner. Now remember that that first place that you apply the brush is where most of the makeup is going to go. So that's why I'm applying that at the outside bam and blending it in i never pick up my brush if you have hooded eyes blend it up so you can see some of that color now i do like to go back you're getting the dark brown oh i love that veronica yeah if you have like if you have gray hair, what was your hair before it turned gray? Because that's usually what you can do. And I'm going to blend this up a little bit more. Okay. Woo, I look tired. I need to pop up my eyes. And now I'm going to go in again with more of a neutral color like more of my neutral, I mean more of my skin tone, maybe a little bit lighter and do that inside. Now remember when picking these colors, shimmer is going to draw attention and matte are going to keep you, um, keep them hidden. So if you have wrinkly crinklies on your eyes, stick with matte. I'm not saying you can't use shimmer. I'm just saying let's pick where to use it. So if you are a little wrinkly and creakly on the inside, use a matte. But maybe you can use a shimmer right there on your lid, just at that base. I'm all about that base, about that base. No treble, I'm all about the base. Right there. So that is going right where the color of my eye, the iris right there, where the color of my eye. So that's going to bright. Come on, guys. You, you can already tell this is making worlds of difference. I'm not looking as tired. All right. So I did my crease in a V. I did 
the inside almost in a B triangle. And then right on the, the lid at the base, I did kind of a square. We all know to blend. We don't, I actually don't have to blend it that much. So we don't have to, we don't want hard edges. Now, awesome every day. Let's go run with it. Bam, I'm done. Makeup. If you're more of a makeup makeup and you need to take it up, go with a dark, darker brown or even a black. I kind of mix the two. And I'm only going to do one eye right now because I want to show you little steps. Hey, Sabina, how are you, girl? Look how that, bam. Look how that, look, guys, I'm not even, pay, look, boom, 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 right there. Do y'all make sound effects when you're putting on makeup? Do you see the difference? We, we're like, okay, let's go. I can do that. M throw mascara on and woo woo. And then right here, that just takes it up a notch, right? Okay, we're going to fix. I'm going to fix. But I want to show you what a difference it makes. You might be this person. That's perfectly, bam, good. We're, I mean, golden. But you might be like, okay, I can take it up. Bam. Or maybe we're going to take baby steps. Okay, I'm this person. But maybe I'll try this one. Now I'm going in, I'm going to use the persuasion eyeliner in brown, tickling the lash line. And just dragging it right across. I have an accent. <laughs> I have an accent. Maybe I'll, oh, you know what I should do is talk in different accents. Maybe I'll do that. Tomorrow, um, I have to practice my accents. I haven't done my accents in a long time. Okay, now look. See what a difference? This was good. Throw mascara on, perfect. Bam. Okay. You rocking it right again what else can we do bam look at that guys little steps are just taking you up I'm not spending six hours doing my makeup. I'm not even applying 84 different shades of eyeshadow. I did three. I just lined with what was here. It does not have to be that difficult. Anybody can do it. I'm very passionate about making sure that everyone can do makeup. Maybe you didn't have a mom that did a lot of makeup and and she never taught you. Maybe you're just not a makeup person. Maybe you're more athletic and you're more, not that girly girls can't be athletic. Um, but maybe you were like, I never wore makeup. And now you're getting into the, the, the makeup thing. Anybody can do this. All right. Make sense? Yes, Heather, it does. Okay, great. All right, let's fix my other side. Corner not picking up the brush just tiny wee tiny weeny v boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. we're like bleh, bleh. we're not even blending it's bleh, bleh. i'm just blue blue right here i use one shadow uh one shade of shadow but with different intensity. So it looks exactly, that's what blending does. That's why that first spot is where most of the makeup goes, right? So that's going to give you that bump, bump of color. Then we're gonna add more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom again. 
<laughs> and we're blah, blah. And y'all y'all see the difference between blending and blue. Blue. We're blue. <laughs> oh, I just love saying that now. This is how you blend it, blend it. All right, so now persuasion eyeliner. Hello, Laverne. Oh, I, Laverne's like, um, Laverne said she was like that. Now she's a pro. She wasn't a makeup person. She's on YouTube. She wasn't a makeup person, but now she's got it down. And people ask her if she went to Macy's to have her makeup done. Isn't that great when you get that compliment? Like, oh, did you have your makeup done? Like, did somebody do that for you? Uh, No. No, I did it myself. Okay. Okay. Doing my eyeliner right at the lash line. Do, 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 do. Get it all the way in. The Persuasion eyeliner, I, I like them both. My mom loves the temptation. They both have stain power, but you're just dragging it right along that lash line. So we's done with eyes or except mascara. Bam. Bam. All right. Now I'm going to take, oh wait, actually I want to, I'm going to swipe some powder underneath this eye. Okay. Another little tip since we did the airbrush first. And then if you notice, like I didn't do a powder guard underneath to protect um, from the eyeshadow falling what you can do is either take our translucent powder that one or i actually took the cut palette in the top one which is the flat white dipped my brush in it and boom like sweep if you have any fallout that will pull it that'll froof it away froof it away now i'm using our demure blush we don't talk about this one a lot i like this one because i can kind of use it for a twofer so i can contour with it and use it as a blush what yeah you can even use this as eyes so i could even go in and have used that right here that color i'm using that just right there okay so think of all the many uses. So using my contour brush, I'm going, and this goes back to, and we're blending and we're blending and we're blending. Just like Jeannie said, where you can use one color, but use it in different intensities. That's what I'm doing with my demure. So I'm gonna go in. I'm even gonna contour down here with it. Thank you, Veronica. Then, yeah, you can use the same brush. I'm not gonna apply more, but I'm going to blend this up. So I'm going right where that contour line was, and at the top, blending it up. So that way it it brings it up a little bit more and it's harder or not harder, but more powerful down here. And then it blends up nicely. The other thing you can do to change and give the illusion of blending is I'm going to go in with the optics palette and right here, do my highlight with my shimmer shimmer. And then that way it gives the illusion of the different colors. Everybody with me? Yes, hey, there we are. Great. Now, you know, I always want to do Dusty Rose. Um, let's try something new. 
I know what I'm doing. It is all about blending. All about blending. I am now putting on crimson, which is my red. Everybody, everybody needs a good red and needs a good neutral. There is one for everybody. If you're like, no, Heather, I can't wear red. Uh, yeah, there's like one million and you can. <laughs> Jeannie, you're so, wow! I've caught it. So I'm going in, lining, it did sound like a gal. Okay, this is another trick with the lips. If you do the Cupid's bow, which I love, it shows the lip shape. But if you smooth it out a little bit, your lips are going to look fuller. Um, Veronica said, I didn't like to wear red lip, but they are awesome. Thank you, Martin. They are. And what I like about this too, because I can uh, show you all that, is the same power. All of our lipsticks have such same power. The lipsticks and younger lips, yes. Uh, I have a friend who's around my age, she might be a little bit younger. Uh, who who wears red every single day every day and i just love it because it doesn't matter what photo she's in or whatever she looks so good and then i do this one hold on i need closer upper <laughs> all right and the other thing is when you're doing because i have a crooked smile when doing your lip when you're lining your lips close your mouth now we joke about that because when they try to find screenshots or screen screen grabs of my lives my mouth is open in every single one or i'm making a funny face so this is for you luminous when closing when lining your lips close your mouth And then you can start opening it to fill it in. But that way, you know that. It's going to be good, right? And then I fill in my lips with the liner um, ways to make even a red like you're like, oh, Heather, I don't know about that red ways to make it look softer is use our lip conditioner. Use the lip jelly, put it on go do your thing when you get to your lips you can blot it a little bit if there's some left and then put it on that's going to help your help that red blend a little make it look softer a uh, lot of different ways put a gloss with it a uh, lot of different ways to make it look softer if you're not there yet but what do i tell you guys do something different before you take your makeup off for the night that way you get to see whether or not you like it whether or not it's a it's a go maybe you'll start getting brave like laverne where you know she could take baby steps you start with one and then you keep going and you keep going um you know like if you thought i never wear red and now i do that makes a big difference but you can try it you're going to take your makeup off anyway so try it see what your husband your your daughter your mom thinks and then it might be a go all right, I'm gonna finish up with some mascara, but I'm digging this look. This is a very classic look, very classic look. Um, but there you go, guys, there you go. All the links are below. Anything that you 
wanted to see, want to talk about what or what I talked about are down below. Our sales are down below. If you need to book an appointment, that's down below as well into in our description. So I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be with you again tomorrow. Remember, we're here every day, Monday through Friday, 930 a.m. Central Time all the time just for you guys. We're on Facebook and on YouTube. So join me if you're on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe below. And if you're on Facebook, like the page. So hopefully you get some um, notifications. All right. Thank you so much again, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.